What furs are those? What? The furs you have on. They look so fine and soft. Um, Walmart clearance, I think. Walmart clearance. I, I don't think I've heard of that animal before. No, it's not an animal, it's a store. Oh, well then, well, what kind of hide is it? Well, I think it's made of cotton, so it's like a plant, actually. Oh, wow. I think if I saw someone wearing that, I'd, I'd probably kill them for it. You mean like the expression, I'd kill for that thing? Yeah, him, I'd kill him. Please don't kill our PA. No, he, he doesn't mean it like that. He just means if he saw that on you and you were a stranger, he'd kill you. you. You don't have to kill me for it. I could just give it to you. I won't. I'm not gonna kill you. I totally would though. So, give us a little history lesson. Who are you guys? Well, we're Norwegian. We settled here probably over, what, over a thousand years ago at this point? Yes, and now we're not. Yeah, about that, we have to leave. It just hasn't been our year, you know? First we ran out of food because raiding instead of farming wasn't actually a good economic model for our village. Well, it would have been if all our neighbors weren't gone. I wonder where they went, to be honest. We, we killed them. Yes, that, that's what I was getting at, Brant. Uh, could you continue your answer? Sorry, of course. Then everyone else left, including our family. Soon it was just Brant and me alone in the village. We were gonna rough it, but then I burnt the house down while cooking, which was kind of sad. It's actually very sad. Yes, very sad. All right, I think they'll have to do. But we didn't finish our tale. What about you finding us? We won't include that in the edit. We're not supposed to be part of the story. But it was like the gates of the Bifrost opened up and Odin and his Valkyries just, came to- Just leave it. They were there, they already know. And what are you guys gonna do now? Well, find a new settlement. Or at least try to. Wherever you guys are from would be preferable. Sorry, I was also looking for your names earlier, so if you wouldn't mind, just say your name and title to the camera. Oh, um, uh, I'm Brant, and I'm... What did you call this place? USA? I'm Usain? USA, it's an acronym, but... I do not have an idea of what that is. America, we are in America. Would you cut it out? Uh, I'm Brant, and I'm American. No, you guys are Vikings. Say that. But, but, are, are you a Viking? I'm not a Viking, because a Viking is a job, and I'm actually currently unemployed. Our dad was a Viking before he killed our neighbors and doomed our village. Hey, that, that happened a long time ago. That wasn't him. No, you're right. I'm being unfair. He was a gentle soul. Just say your names and that you're Vikings, okay? Uh, I'm Brant. I'm Anar. And, and we're Vikings. Vikings. Perfect, all right, cut. Come on, people, we're losing daylight. Well, time to move. All right. You look really sad for someone who just got saved. Do people who get saved often struggle to make eye contact with their savior? I'd say so, if you're traumatized. But it's like he's trying to avoid us. He hasn't said a word to us since we left. Well, he's focused on something important. He's probably trying to find a place for us to live. But why? Why would he do it if he didn't benefit from it? He's clearly getting something from it. Why would you say that? He points those devices at us and asks us questions, like some sort of interrogation. They're doing it right now. It's like they're sucking the hooger out of me. Hey, could you walk back like seven steps and not look at the camera this time? You good, bud? What are you getting out of this? Excuse me? Why should I trust that you aren't taking advantage of me and my brother? Look, I don't know how you got that idea in your head, but we're just shooting a documentary here. That? What is that? You can't just make up words and expect me to not question you.
you lost everything, but worst of all, you lost your team. And you know better than anyone that being part of a team is important to thrive. And when you lost yours, you were left alone to struggle. Well, Aynar didn't leave. Oh, but he wants to. You can see that he's pretty happy about leaving behind that pile of rubble, can't you? He does seem to be in a different headspace than me. You can't fault him for wanting something new, and now that the old is gone, you get to be part of our team. But not many people just get to switch teams like that. I don't think I like you calling my family a team. Then I meant family. We speak English a little differently. That's probably why I was confused. Well, English, they speak that in Europe. We're in America, right? We're speaking American? That reminds me, why don't you speak Old Norse? A few centuries ago, a guy from the land of Boston told us his native language, so we just kept using that. Huh. Well, anyway, our, our family accepts you, and this little documentary we're making is just to remember this journey we're going on together. Seems like a lot of effort for a scrapbook. Trust me, it's worth it, especially for a new family member. So did you get an answer to your every question? I'm afraid there's too many questions to start, but my concerns have been subsided for the most part. Most part? What's still bothering you? There's still just something off about it. Maybe it's because I don't understand what's so special about a documentary that they have to operate these rocks with runes and eyes on it. I mean, a rock with a fully black eye, is that not freaky to you? <laughs> well, then you get to see the rock's memories through the rock with a window on it. What the hell are you talking about? <sighs> Look, I don't know if we'll ever fully understand everything that the travelers use, but that doesn't mean you should just reject it. Clearly it's good, or they wouldn't be looking down at the window rock as often as they do. But they have the vacant look of Draugr when they look through it. You should just try it. Ask the one that you threatened earlier for one of his. He has a couple, because one's better, but then the bad one is what works. But the better one will work soon. I I've been listening to music this whole time. In my ear. It's like magic. Like bringing a band of bards with you wherever you go. I don't know much about these men. But I do know that we shouldn't just ignore all the good that they bring. I mean, think of the Valkyries. I know that if I died, I'd be lost. But lo and behold, Odin brought warrior women to show me the way to Valhalla. We are dead, Brant. Our home is gone. Our lives are gone. We might as well be dead if we are to stay as we were. But we move on to the next life. And lo and behold, Someone provided us with a documentary team to guide us to a new home. What do you mean someone provided? I don't know. Odin, I guess? What matters most is that we get to the next life with the help of our Valkyries, the documentary team. You know, they think a team is a family, by the way. Kind of rude to think of your new family as a courier service. I'm sorry. I get what you're trying to say. I will try to accept them for as long as we need to, whether it's until the next life or the rest of our lives. I'm just not as good at accepting people as you are, but I will try. That's all I could ask for. Thank you, Brant. You're welcome, brother. I'm sorry for threatening you yesterday. I have a habit of doing that and not realizing it until later. But it's a good thing I did it through, you know, contemplation and not a mist of blood, confusion, regrets. I'm joking, that doesn't really happen. That never happens. No, I, I believe you. Really? Great, can I have a rock? Whoa, I do not sell drugs. No, the rock with the window on it. Oh, you mean my phone? I got it right here. Yes, that's exactly... What is that, what is that picture you got on there? Let's just say I, I may be a user, but I'm not a seller. Look, my brother Anar, 
I know you gave him a phone and it's helped him adapt to you guys very quickly and I'm struggling with that. So if you could spare one, I would really appreciate it. Oh yeah, for sure. I got this one here. I just got service on this one last night and it's not like I get any calls or texts anyway. So you can play around on it for a little bit. Uh, it's got unlimited data, so it should last all day. And um, there's just one thing. Please do not watch any porn on it. My mom checks my phones. This is great. I will figure this thing out and then I will get it back to you as soon as I can. Okay. All right, well, thanks for not threatening me for it. Well, I kind of did at the beginning there, didn't I? Thought you were joking. Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. You see that? Yo, Chad, is this real? Bigfoot? Aliens are real? Finland is real? Birds aren't real? I've lived a hundred times longer than you ever will. And I could have lived even longer than that. What, despite longevity, there's even no constant in my existence. That is my desire. Time and time again, I've learned that will never happen. Humanity rose above all others because it could move on, and I would be inhuman if my wishes were met. Yet, there was one thing that met my wishes of consistency. The only constant is that there will be change. And even when change seems an impossibility, someone comes along and molds it into a probability. Thank you for the change. I get it. I actually get it. All right, here's your phone, man. So I did watch a little bit of porn, sorry. No, for real? <laughs> nah, I'm joking. For real? Yes, I'm joking. <sighs> okay, good. You got a great sense of humor, man. Oh, by the way, Alfred wanted to see you. Why does the director want to see me? I think he just wanted to get a few more shots of you doing Viking stuff and whatnot. But I'm not a Viking. Are you joking? No, I haven't raided a village in my whole life. Well, your fit would have fooled me. You want to see me? Yeah, perfect. We have a few props we whipped up for you to make a few moving tableaus. Uh, we want to see some of that Viking stuff. You want to see me kill people? I definitely did not say that. I said Viking stuff. I'm starting to think you don't know what Viking stuff is. It's going to mean what I want it to mean. A big angry guy that solves problems with violence. You'll find that I'm pretty understanding if you just explain things to me. Well, understand this. In this documentary, you're a Viking. You're not a villager. You're not Kamala Harris. You're a Viking. You definitely do not want that. It's exactly what I want, and I'll get it out of you if I have to. Look, I just don't understand why a documentary needs these tables that you're talking about. So can you please just explain? I've explained enough. I mean, the reason we're setting up these ta tableaus is because you're not acting correctly, and I don't want to have to stay out here any longer. I mean, why don't we get to the bottom of what's wrong with you? Excuse me? You just sit in your tent whenever possible. I mean, the, the only footage we can get of you is when you're walking. That's all I do! Exactly! That's it. Get angry. Do something interesting. You think me hurting people is interesting? It's at least something. We signed on expecting to film a Viking, and you're not it. So we may just leave you. Come on, you guys aren't gonna do that. We're a family! Come on, I'll give you a freebie. Hit me! I'm not gonna hit you. HIT ME! I'm not gonna hit you! Oh. Whoa. I knew Valkyries were tough, but I didn't know they were bullies, too. Yeah. I feel like you've accepted them enough. They sort of have to meet you halfway at that point. 
if it comes down to getting to the next life, I think it's more than fair meeting them halfway. I really don't think that anymore. But you were there. They met us at our lowest point. It was as if it was Odin's aid. I think it's more than fair that we meet them past halfway, and we probably have a lifetime to repay them for that. They aren't sent by Odin, though. Then who sent them? Dad did. Dad has been sending letters, and I knew how you felt about him after he left, so I didn't tell you. He settled somewhere, and he wanted to see us. I know you probably didn't want that either, but I did. Then Dad said a crew was coming, and I panicked. So you burnt down our house? No, I was trying to send a signal fire, but I also wanted to hide it. So I was going to do it inside and then bring it outside. It was a whole mess. Yeah, it was a fat mess. Look, I wanted to talk to someone else, but I also didn't want to lose you. Dad freaked me out and I couldn't say no. It takes forever to send courier ravens. <sighs> I'm sorry. If I could do this all again and take it back, I would. Where are you going? I'm gonna take a leak. Are you lost? Well, I am peeing on a tree, just like you, old man. So I think I'm right where I need to be. No, I mean, lost mentally. Those eyes of yours look pretty perplexed to me. I'm kind of perplexed why you always look into peeing strangers' eyes. I know your brother is just as lost as you right now. Are you sure? My brother seems sure enough to make my choices for me. And so does my dad, and so does that stupid director. You don't take responsibility for yourself. If you're so mad about what fate has dealt you, then lay down the deck, throw away the cards, play a different game. If it's my fate, what is there to change? Life is just unwanted change all the time. What is there to control? You're right to a point. I tried to change my fate and I lost an eye and a will. I almost killed myself. And all I know now is I can't do anything about it. So what are you saying? I'm not saying you can change your own fate. But I am saying that you can at least make choices on your own terms. One day you will die. But whether you spent your days mad at everyone else or had fun making others mad, well, that's entirely up to you. You may end up in the mouth of a wolf at the end of the day. But you don't have to say good morning to the wolf. So if, even if everything in the deck sucks, I should still try to have fun. Whatever gets you to cashing out. And stop acting like everyone else can choose for you. You could kill yourself right now, and I wouldn't stop you. Uh, thanks. Don't mention it. Also, let your brother know. He should be more confident in himself. All right, well, I'll tell him you said that. But by the way, what was your name again? What the hell was that? What happened to the rest of the village? Dad said they all live in the same city. He's the only one that lives alone. Why did he send a crew? Well, the story of the village got around. Eventually, the crew came knocking and the village was happy to tell them what they knew. Then they found out about us and wanted to see us. Dad especially. So he didn't really send them. He just wants to see us. That's when I panicked. I'm not mad at you. I don't know what I would have done in that situation either. And to be fair, I needed the change. But I need to make that choice from now on. Not you, and not Dad. And Alfred? Alfred doesn't get to make the choice either, but I want to have some fun with him first. Let's go to bed and I'll think some things through. Brant, I don't think he wants to have fun. 
You missed a whole day of shooting. He thinks you actually left. Oh, I'll make it up to him. Don't worry. What are you thinking? I'm gonna leave camp. Oh, come on, you already did that. No, I'm gonna leave for good this time. But first, we have some things to do. What's that? I need you to ask the PA where they save the memories in the camera. Why? Because I need the cameras to forget what I'm going to do. I do not like the sound of that. I'm not gonna kill anyone, I promise. But I need you to get the memories before we leave. Do you think you can do that? Yes, whatever you say. Do you think you're gonna leave with me when we're done? Where are you gonna go? I'm probably gonna go see Dad. Really? Yeah, we have some unresolved issues, and frankly, I, I kinda wanna see him too. I'll tag along then, I guess. This all sounds like you put a good amount of thought into things, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get those memories. <sighs> Come on, you need to have more confidence in yourself. An old man told me to tell you that. Who? I do not have an idea. Well, I'll try, I guess. No, again, be confident. Don't try. What are you gonna do? I will get the memories. That's my brother. All right, I'm gonna get up and warm up a bit. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna become what Alfred wants me to be. So what's the end game here, Alfred? Why do you want the talent so brutish? We're bringing them back to their family, right? We need a, an arc. I don't know about the relationship between the kids and their dad, but given that daddy didn't stop us from coming out this way, I'm assuming there's a reason the kids are still out here, and whether or not that got resolved, I don't know, but dad seems like a good guy. We need a bad guy. Oh, that makes sense now. How do you think Brant will take it? You know, I really don't know, but it's starting to look like it's going to be climactic. I hate this belt! Are you sure we should be letting this happen? I mean, they seemed like pretty good guys before all this. Don't you know anything about Vikings, man? I mean, they're not cool. At best, marauding rapists, and these guys, they might pretend, but deep down I know they're scumbags. I mean, I'd probably feel that way too if one, like, punched you in the face or something. What are you talking about? Oh, it's just like a hypothetical, just off the dome, you know? Yeah, for sure. Hey, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, yeah, for sure, man. Thanks. Yeah. Here we go, you scared the crap out of me. You should be more alert. There's dangerous things in the woods. Well, I've got you here to protect me. Do you? All you've done is boss me around. Families don't do that. They don't bully each other either. Look, what can I say? Maybe I haven't been the best dad, but I've just been trying to do what's best for all of us. What's best for us? Is what's best for us that someone gets hurt? You feign care, but invite harm and infighting. No, you do. We wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for you abandoning your dad. That's right, he sent us out here. At least he cares about you. Me, I couldn't care less if you joined our little family. In fact, I prefer you don't. That's fine. I didn't plan on it. He didn't plan on it? Well, what did you plan? That your brother was going to burn down your house? That, that some film crew was going to find you through some vague lead hunt? Did you plan on that? No. But I got a good one. Well, enlighten me. Have you ever heard of Vinland? Yeah, aren't you from there? <laughs> no, Vinland were our neighbors, but they settled here for different reasons. They wanted to practice their religion, but they got that from the English. Christianity, they called it. We left Norway because it was a unified kingdom, aka no more land left to conquer. So we went off to the land of the Brits, but Christianity was there. And sure, robbing a few monasteries was pretty fun for a while, but then it got boring. So we went to Ireland, and we went to Dublin, and they had a Danish king. The land was infested with Druids. So eventually, we left Ireland too. 
So we sailed across the ocean, where we heard other Norse had settled, but only come to find that our kin had fallen to Christianity. They were all about forgiveness now. They wanted to forgive us for our sins, but we didn't want their Christ's forgiveness. We wanted our gods to help us crush our enemies and reward us for our struggle. We showed them what we thought of their forgiveness. And so we wiped them off the face of the earth. We burned their bodies so no part of them was left on our land. We were gonna make sure that our long journey did not lead us right back to where we left. And with that, we made America our new home. Well, let's bring you to the new America. I will not be led astray and spend my life fixing mistakes like my ancestors. I will make the choice right now. Holy crap, are you okay? What should we do about him? Nothing, we got what we wanted. Tomorrow we'll pack out and head out. It's not the ending I wanted, but it's better than I had in mind anyway. All right, uh, PA, back this up on the drive, will you? Most definitely. Are you sure everything is fine, Brant? Did you get the memories? Yes. Then of course it will be. You're sure they're all on there? Yes. I asked the PA and he told me where they stored them and that they wouldn't back them up until they left. So, these are the only ones. Then everything is fine. Look at your head. That doesn't look fine. Well, I just don't want them to find us, so I'm just trying to be safe. Nothing about this feels safe. Hey, I told you to work on that confidence. That old man insisted. What are you talking about? I, look, I was happy with all this change at first, but now it's getting to be a bit too much. First you were fed up with it all, then you gave Alfred everything he wanted, and now you shaved your head, and I'm gonna have to shave my head too, and I'm worried about my dry scalp, and I just- Anar, Anar, slow down. Why did I want you to get the memories? To make them forget? Yes, and Alfred has wanted these memories the whole time. I see. So Alfred didn't get everything he wanted. Exactly, and he's gonna find that out soon. So, what are we gonna do with it? We drive a stake through the heart and make it forget. <clears throat> Is it dead? I don't know. Uh, let's stab it a few more times just to make sure. What is this I hear about an old man? Uh, it was just this old guy who had like an eye patch and a cloak. You talked to Odin? No, it was this old guy who, while I was peeing, just kind of appeared out of nowhere with a raven's call. It was kind of weird. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was Odin. I think I would have known if I talked to the Allfather. I, I don't think you would have. Whatever, he said some things that really put my life into perspective, and I, I think we're going down a good path. So this is good? The path that you chose for us? choices for the future, it's good? Honestly, I can't say that we're good after all we've done, but like you said, we've died. And this may not be our Valhalla, but that was our Ragnarok. And that leaves room for a whole new world to build upon. 
So what kind of world are you thinking? One that's changing all the time.